Good day, Philippines. Mike Padawa here, and we are back to our topical word analysis for this uh, Friday through Monday, January 15 to 18, 2021. And we are heading into another weekend of continuous effect of the Northeast Monsoon. And this English version is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here is the latest graph set beginning today, 4 p.m. until tomorrow, Saturday. As I said, the northeast monsoon continues to prevail across Luzon, uh, particularly here over the Beagle region with some drizzle and passing showers, but somewhat slight improvement during the past few days, but still windy, up to uh, 40, 45 kph, and some uh, temperature which uh, is starting to rise up, up to 29 degrees, but at this time, it's already 5 p.m., the temperature is gone down again to 25, so it's a pleasant uh, feeling at this time. And still uh, cool conditions across most parts of Luzon. Not so warm, not so cold. And uh, the northeast monsoon has begun to uh, weaken a bit, but we have another blast of monsoon coming up in the next couple of days. From another high pressure that will form over China. And uh, the northeast monsoon is extending over the northern parts of Palawan. So expect also some showers over those areas and some areas of uh, Mimagopa, including northern Panay and northern Samar. By the way, here across the eastern uh, portion of uh, Visayas and also Mindanao, uh, offshore Bangsamoro and southern portions of Sulu Archipelago, including southern Palawan, they will be under the influence of the surface trough, bringing some showers and thunderstorms as well, particularly in the afternoon or evening. The tail end of a uh, frontal system, or the tail end of the frontal system, is already uh, moving uh, or moving up, but still uh, it will affect the northern uh, central sections of the uh, Philippine Sea. Outside of power, we don't have any uh, developing LPAs or tropical cyclone in sight. For the next uh, five to ten days so here over mindanao and the southern portions of the philippine islands watch out for some lightning strikes or possible uh, uh, flash floods when we you experience some heavy thunderstorms and uh, that's the latest from our graph set and as we look at our uh, fast animation you can clearly see here the cloudiness of the surface trough across uh, southern palawan and uh, mindanao and also here across eastern Visayas, while uh, if we look at our latest windy.com zoom in satellite animation, you can clearly see here some low level nimbus stratus with some low level cumulus uh, blowing from moving from the northeast. Okay, and uh, it's uh, continues to affect uh, Bicolandia and uh, some portions of uh, Luzon, particularly. The eastern sections of northern and central Luzon, the mountainous areas, the eastern portions of uh, Cordillera Autonomous Region, and also over northern Quezon, there will be some showers as well. And here over Mindoro, also Romblon and uh, Marinduque, while you can see some heavy thunderstorms over uh, the southern portions of Palawan, southern Sulu, including uh, most parts of Mindanao and eastern Visayas due to a surface trough. And let's take a look at our uh, three-day rainfall accumulation beginning today, Friday, until Sunday. There could be some uh, rainfall activity across the Bicol region, Visayas, uh, Palawan, and Mindanao, brought about by the systems that I just mentioned. And uh, as we move towards a winter.com wind forecast from the American model for Friday until Monday, the northeast monsoon will continue until tomorrow, Saturday, across Bicol region and northern portions of Sulu Archipelago, northern Panay, as well as uh, some portions of Calabarzon and uh, uh, Mindoro. And on Sunday, here's another uh, surge of the northeast monsoon affecting Luzon, but this is only uh, going to be a short uh, surge. So that will be until Monday. 
And this monsoon might affect the northern sections of the Bicol region, particularly Camarines Norte and uh, northern Quezon, but the rest of the Bicol region will be under the influence of the northeasterly surface wind flow, which is a weaker version of the northeast monsoon. If we move forward towards uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, until Thursday next week, we could see the shifting of the winds blowing from the east. So it's no longer the northeast monsoon, but Easterlies, what about by the strong La Nina? So expect some still showers across the eastern sections of the country. And we have a, an active LPA forming over the southernmost part of the Philippine Sea, south of Calayan Island, northwest of Borneo. This could become an active LPA, but it's not yet expected to become a tropical cyclone. It's far away from the Philippine Islands. So far, that's the latest for the next uh, three days, particularly this weekend. So the northeast monsoon will continue to prevail over Bicol region and some portions of the eastern Luzon, including uh, Calabarzon and Mindoro, and uh, also some surface trough over eastern Visayas, Mindanao, and southern Palawan for the next three days. And we will be returning again on uh, Monday to give you more update on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua reporting. Stay safe always. Happy weekend to all. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mr. Typhoon, for the latest on the weather here in the Philippine Islands, as well as upcoming tropical cyclones.